What else the dollar you murder for? You said the wolf fight for your soul. All your brothers are one that you're running from money. If you got money, fuck it, then I won't stop. Hello YouTube, it's me again, it's Desmond. Sorry, I'm a little behind on the videos. Um, let's just say life kind of hit me like a train. So the first week of school, basically, I was really, like, deathly ill. I don't know what was wrong with me. I just kind of, like, was not functioning with anything. I had, like, horrible headaches. I wasn't throwing up, but I was, like, just having the worst symptoms. I just couldn't, like, be anywhere on the earth. Like, the earth was like, hmm, let's pick him out and, like, put him over here with, like, everyone that just can't do life. Um, I do have a story time for you guys. Um, it kind of happened recently. Um, it happened Thursday night, just for this recent Thursday night, and it's Saturday now. But Thursday night, I went out with some friends. Um, we went to the club, and, um, in West Hollywood, Tiger Heat, and, um, something really- I always do, like, I always ha have the craziest things happen. Like, it never fails. Like, I either meet, like, someone famous or- um, I meet, uh, I just run into with the weirdest people or have the craziest, funniest stories. But anyway, I met Lil Anthony in this bathroom and <laughs> it was just so crazy because I literally just walked in and I look to my right and I'm like, because there's, there's a line for the bathroom. And I look to my right and I see him and I'm like, oh my god, like I know who this is. Like there's no way like this is happening right now. So I pull up my phone. It's, I'm so weird when I meet celebrities. Like I pulled out my phone and I said, Hey, you probably get this a lot, but can I take a picture with you? And then I literally like start getting ready for the picture and then like I just take it. Like there was just it was just so natural and he was just so like cool with it. Um he was very nice, he was very uh respectful, he was very professional, like he seemed very like calm and like kinda like, you know, used to this kind of thing. But he was very like um very mature in like the setting that we were in. But um he was with some friends and I didn't want to like bother him too much, but we just talked a little bit about his movie that came out um on iTunes. I don't know the name of it, I haven't seen it yet, but I really want to watch it. And we talked a little bit about acting and like because I wanna be an actor, I wanna be a singer, I wanna be a dancer, all you know that whole spiel. But we talked a little bit about his career and like what kind of direction he was going in. Um he was super um super uh what's it called? I don't know what he was, but he was super nice and he was super cool. Anyway, fast forwarding, uh we were dancing, um we met up with some friends, um and uh, he was dancing with his friends and he just kind of seemed like, you know, whatever. And I, I went over and, you know, I was talking to him and I said, you know, hey, you know, do you mind, you know, following me on Twitter? And he was like, oh, I don't really do Twitter about the whole thing. Like, he doesn't really do Twitter anymore. He kind of just sticks to Instagram kind of thing. Which is sad because he had really good videos, but it's okay. You know, people, you know, just need a little break from social media because people can be... Yeah. Okay. Um, it was a really fun night. Uh, we danced a lot. There were some messy people there as usual. Um, Oh, we did, we tried doing this grind train, like how Ariana Grande did in like the AMA performance of Side to Side. Um, I'll show you that right now. <laughs> it was kind of a mess, but whatever. Um, it was still fun. We had a really fun time. We danced like all night. We danced till like two in the morning and it was just so much fun. Um, but here's the story where it gets a little... Hectic. After we left the club, we were walking, we meet our friends, we, our groups kind of just like split. It was me and my friend Irving and then um, some other friends I, I'd known from school. Um, and we were uh, walking um, down the block to go to Irving's car and we were crossing the street and um, let's just say like, you know how like when ca cars can turn right on red lights? That's okay. But the rule is, the law is you stop before the line where the crosswalk, you know, kind of meets so you don't hit anybody. And I'm already getting mad. We were walking and we're almost to the to the other side of the of the street. And this Lyft driver, this skinny little white bitch, like comes in the in in the in the crosswalk and stops in the crosswalk in a little bit. Like she goes, she's all, like her whole car is in the crosswalk. And literally like this this is us and this is like this is where she stopped like she stopped right here in front of our feet like and i like i it, it would it all happened so quick i was like terrified i was like whoa and like i kind of like you know was like holding myself back and kind of holding irving back because like i was i was a little bit ahead of irving i was like i noticed i noticed that if i had walked like at least two more steps forward she would have hit me and i would have died like she was going like like i it sounds dramatic and it sounds like too like you know just whatever to like not seem real but she literally almost hit us like she almost like like rammed into us and the best part is is that she stopped in the crosswalk looked both ways and then kind of just sped off just to make sure she was clear to go not to make sure that we were okay and not to make sure that you know oh i almost hit somebody you know like whatever like i don't care if you're an la driver there is that spiel of like oh you're that la driver no you're either a driver that's an idiot or a driver that knows what they're doing 
this girl didn't know what she was doing. I don't care who you are. And especially she was a Lyft driver, a Lyft driver. Like, you know how much trouble she could have gotten in for being a Lyft driver and almost killing somebody? Like, that. that's so stupid. So then myself, you know, I, I went in the heat of the moment, I just go off. So I'm like cursing at her, I'm like... Here comes Santa Claus, here comes Santa Claus, right down Santa Claus Lane. Dixon and Dixon and anyway, um, I went off and the whole block was shook, so there we go. Um, that's pretty much it for my story time. Um, I hope you guys aren't too mad at me for not having a video up. Oh, whatever, I don't really care. But yeah, I, no, I do care. Like, I do care. I'll have videos up more often. I'm trying not to be lazy. I'm trying not to... Well, I'm just so busy. Like, school is, like, killing me. But, like, whatever. It's only week three. Like, I'm going into week three, but I'll be fine. I'm not, like... Whatever. But yeah, I'll have some video guys up. Some videos for you guys. I really can't talk today. I'll have some video guys... Video... <laughs> I cannot talk. I will have some videos up for you guys soon. This one is up today. I'm filming today. It's going up today. I just had to tell you guys the story. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, give me some feedback. Uh, subscribe, like, you know what I'm, you know, just tell your friends. Honestly, tell people. Like, get the word out. Like, because that's what's going to help this. It's what's going to, like, push this forward. You know what I mean? Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope to see you guys uh, this coming up week. I do have some surprises in the future for myself, but, like, for you guys so I can share with you guys. But, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Have a good day. Bye.